morning guys it's day two december 2nd and i'm making waffles because rachel is sleeping they got back with um jordan matter shoot at like 5 a.m in the morning so it's crazy but another day another vlog second vlog let's get it It's me again, and I'm doing school again. There's David. I have journal, and it says observe the cloud formation and describe them. So me and Dave are gonna go outside and see what the cloud formation is and see if we see anything. So no. let's go, Dave. Okay, we're outside and we're gonna see. David's saying there's no cloud shapes, but yeah, there is. Do we see anything? Doesn't look like there's anything today. That was a fail. We couldn't find any cloud thingies. So that didn't work. Hey guys. Since NBC is going to be airing the Radio City Christmas Spectacular tonight, we thought it would be fun to do a little Q&A with you guys about what it was like to be Clara at Radio City. So let's go. The first question is, what was the audition process like? The audition is open call. Basically, you just need to be on point to audition. It doesn't really matter how short you are, I guess, but you have to be under 4'10". Yeah, there's usually several cuts, so they bring everyone in, they do like a short combination with H-Pays and Passes, then they cut like half the room half or the room. over half the room. Then they teach you some choreography from the show usually. If you make it to the end, then they take your measurements. Did you have to audition every year? And yes, we both auditioned multiple times. Even if you were Clara the past year, you still have to re-audition every single year. How did you find out you got the role? Like call your parents. It's really exciting <laughs> when you get the call. The first time that I got the call, I was in an NYCDA Nationals like opening number rehearsal. My mom got the call and she like came into my rehearsal to tell me and I was really happy. Did being in the show cause you to miss ballet classes? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> most of them. It's kind of hard doing the show to stay in shape. Thankfully when I did it, one of the ensemble dancers taught us some classes and I also went to Nashville Ballet and took some classes. There's a lot of shows that you have to do and you don't really have that much time for classes. Like you will warm up on your own, do like a bar, but you don't like have class with the teachers. Did you get paid? Yes. Yes, we did get paid. <laughs> and it pays very well. How much rehearsal time did you have? I had like four weeks of rehearsals at a church and then we went for tech rehearsals and those were a couple weeks too. Yeah. I actually went to Myrtle Beach first and had rehearsal for like 10 days and then I went to Nashville and then we just kind of rehearsed a little bit. You don't get a lot of rehearsal time teaching you how to be a professional. You gotta pick up things fast, pick up your corrections fast, know where your marks are and all that stuff. Did you get the part the first time you auditioned? So, I did not get it the first year, but Rachel did. When I was 10, I did not expect to get it at all because I was horrible. She was just like this tiny little pipsqueak yeah. with blonde curly hair. Do you miss performing it? Yeah. Yeah. A I lot. mean, for me, it's been 10 years. <laughs> it's been like two years for me. What was your most embarrassing moment? Once I put my hand down, but it wasn't that bad. But then one time I was also like really sick and I did the performance, which I probably should not have done. Everything just felt like slow motion when I was doing it. It was really weird. In Nashville, when I did it, we had a bunch of different parts that we got to do. One of the parts I got to do was the gingerbread girl. <laughs> Our costumes were like really thick. So if you fell flat on your face, it didn't hurt. And you're literally just like this and you couldn't move except side to side. <laughs> Thankfully, it was just a dress rehearsal. It wasn't a show, but in one of the dress rehearsals, I just fell. And you can't get up, so you're just like flopping around on the floor. <laughs> I was just laughing so hard in my costume that I couldn't get up until someone picked me up. Which costume was your favorite? I think the nightgown was my favorite. I also had a tutu, but I really liked the nightgown. My favorite was this really pretty white dress. This dance we did, it was called Carol of the Bells. And with the lighting and everything, it always looks so pretty. Favorite memory on stage? Well, I do have a favorite part of the show. I actually had a crush on one of the ensemble dancers. 
there was this part where we got to dance together. We did like an out and a twirl in sort of thing. And then I sat on his knee and that was my favorite part because like I had a crush on him. So. I really liked the part where it was just me and my brothers and they were like reading the Christmas story to me. That part was oh, always yeah. really fun because we just got to like roll out on this platform and just sit there in our pajamas. It was great. What would a typical performance day look like? It was definitely different every day, so it depended on how many shows you had. Usually, I would get there a little over a half hour before the show, because then they call half hour and you just start warming up. My favorite day was Saturdays, because we would have four shows. I would have two shows, and the other Clara would have two shows. When I did it, we had catering, so that was fun because on Saturdays we would have catering twice. <laughs> I've had three shows before. The shows can be as early as 9 a.m. or as late as 10 p.m. It really just depends on what show you have that day. You have a whole schedule mapped out. Would you want to be a Rockette? Absolutely. We would both love to be Rockettes, but the only problem is we wouldn't We're be way tall too short. Like, Unless I had like a huge growth spurt. <laughs> I would want to be an ensemble dancer though because you don't have to be tall for that. What is something different about being Radio City Clara from a typical Nutcracker? Being Radio City Clara, it's a lot shorter. The full Nutcracker is like an hour and a half and Clara does a lot more dancing. But in this Nutcracker scene, I would guess it's like 10 minutes. And it's not really the classic Nutcracker story because there's dancing bears. Yeah. The whole show is like just a bunch of Christmas things put together and so they just show a little section of Nutcracker. What was the hardest part of being Clara? For me, it was commuting to oh. New York City every single day. That was really hard for me. For me, it was probably just the rehearsals. It's a little stressful because you want to make sure that you're making all the corrections and you don't want to mess anything up. You also have to be careful that you don't get in the way of like the props that are going to be moving quickly because one time that happened to me during a rehearsal. It was not good. <laughs> what was the most fun thing about being Clara? <laughs> Probably the biggest thing was getting to dance on the Grand Ole Opry stage and Rachel got to dance on the Radio City Music Hall stage. You're that young and you get to dance on a stage like that. It's really special. There's so much history behind both of those stages. And like so many super famous, amazing people perform there before you. So you're like, I can't believe at my age I get to be on the stage. Adele used my dressing room. Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton came to my show. Bruce Willis came to my show. I think Maddie Ziegler and Kenny Ziegler came to my show too. Every little girl wants to meet the Rockettes. You get to dance with them and be buddies with them. So it's really cool. Thank you guys for watching us answer these questions about being a Radio City Clara. Stick around for the rest of the vlog! Right now we have Meet the Artist with Alessandra Ferry, which is very exciting. She's a super famous ballerina and we get to listen to her speak on Zoom. After we have this talk, we all have classes. Michelle has class with HHB and me and Kion have class with ABT. Dance partnership with Julio Boca that we know. <laughs> From 1990, she appeared as a guest artist with leading companies all around the world and joined La Scala Ballet. In we finished our ballet classes for the day and we just watched the tree get lit up and we're about to watch the Christmas Spectacular airing on NBC. We're probably gonna end Vlogmas Day 2 right now. See you guys tomorrow for day 3 and Woo! Merry Christmas! 
Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Wait. But I couldn't. Stay zoomed in so I can keep this. We have phones. Okay, so. <sighs> stay down. Slow down. That's cringy. I know. Good question. I want short people. <laughs> I don't know if I'll put that in. <laughs> We're flying through these questions. Woo! <laughs> um. <laughs> a stupid coronavirus. I was a gingerbread girl. I should say it again. I was a bad kid. I do too many thumbs up and peace signs and waves. Wait, is it my turn? Come back to me. Why'd you do that? We're almost there. I don't remember. No, I just asked. Oh. <laughs> I want to keep answering questions. It's already over. Is it zoomed in? Why do I look so weird? Getting it. <laughs> well, I know you hate this, so never mind. You're not gonna put it in.